everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing another fragrance haul. I'm really excited to show you all of the fragrances today. Also if you're new to my channel I would love if you could please subscribe and um, like this video if you enjoyed it. That would help my channel out a lot. So now let's get started into the fragrances and I have to say I bought quite a few fragrances and if you checked out my last video and I'll leave that linked down below as well if you want to check that out. I have some really nice fragrances in that one. And so I thought that I would start off with a designer fragrance and this fragrance I have seen quite a lot on both YouTube and also on like Instagram and it's quite a new fragrance so I wanted to try it and I heard some really good reviews about it and this is Burberry Her and this is the 30ml that I have here. This fragrance is meant to, from the reviews that I heard, meant to smell like a strawberry milkshake. So I was definitely intrigued by that. I really like the packaging. I think it's really simple and really kind of like elegant and at the same time just really sleek and um, kind of minimalistic. This is what the bottle looks like. It also has this kind of very light pink top. So this is meant to be a fruity gourmand fragrance. Also have the Burberry Shea, which I really like, and I think is a really nice kind of really light fragrance for every day. So when I first smell this fragrance, I definitely can smell the strawberry and I definitely can smell what a lot of people have been saying about this fragrance and it smells like of strawberries. To me, it smells like a powdered strawberry, powdered strawberry milkshake. This fragrance definitely, from when you just spray, it definitely smells like strawberries and you can definitely smell that there is some berries inside. So I'm going to just spray this. So I definitely can smell the berries in this fragrance. There's some blueberries, there's strawberries, blueberries and dark berries. There's musk, amber and jasmine. I actually have been wearing this fragrance for the last few days. I noticed that it does last quite a long time on me. And it's just a fragrance that you can wear during the day. It's quite bold. I think that it's a memorable fragrance as well. I haven't really smelled anything like this one, so I think that it is quite unique. And I think it's a perfect fragrance for anybody who wants to try a sweet fragrance but doesn't want anything too heavy and wants more, more of a fruity version of a gourmand. And this is perfect for that, I think. It's just a really nice one. I think it's a very kind of happy fragrance as well. It's luminous, it's happy, it's adventurous, it's kind of bold, it's youthful. And I think that it's a perfect everyday scent for anyone who just wants a little bit of a sweet fragrance for during the day and wants to smell uh, memorable as well. So I think for spring, this is going to be kind of my like everyday fragrance for during the day. It's going to be hard to choose which fragrance because I have quite a few now as I'm adding more and more to my collection, but I do see myself wearing this one a lot, especially in the spring and summer. So next up, I have a very famous fragrance that you've probably all heard of. And this is by Victor and Rolf and it's Flower Bomb and it's the original Flower Bomb. And this fragrance is actually an oriental floral fragrance. This is what the packaging looks like. This one is also a 30 ml. And I haven't smelled this fragrance, just like Burberry Her. It was a blind buy, so again, I bought the 30 ml. It's in the shape of a grenade, I guess. It's just a really nice, unique looking bottle. So when I first heard of this fragrance, I was thinking, I'm not sure if um, this fragrance would be for me. I'm not heavily into floral fragrances. I like the florals to have some kind of like gourmand notes to it or um, some kind of oriental notes to it. And this fragrance is actually an oriental floral gourmand. So I thought that I would try it because I really liked the sound of the notes. I think I'm just going to use the box to spray it on. So when I first spray this fragrance, I straight away notice this beautiful kind of freshness to it. This fragrance has mandarin, it has green tea and bergamot. Then you really start to smell the floral fragrances after the opening. So opening to me is quite fresh. And then afterwards, you really start to smell the beautiful florals come through. There's jasmine, there's rose, and there's patchouli. And what really drew me to this fragrance is the base notes. There's also vanilla and praline. So there's that slight kind of um, hint of not gourmand, but there is a slight hint of sweetness to the fragrance as well. So I find that the fragrance is quite complex and it has this like kind of opening, middle and end. And it's really, really different. And um, I think it comes together really nicely. I don't find that this is an overly floral fragrance to my nose. I definitely smell the floral notes, but because there is the amber, there is the vanilla, there is praline. And then there is also that freshness in the opening. It really does have that kind of... Uh, balance between the fragrance. I really like this one. I definitely will wear this one a lot. 
and I think it's definitely worth testing out this one. Okay, so next up I have another fragrance and I was really excited to try this one and I heard a few YouTube fragrance reviewers talk about this one and um, I really was intrigued to try it. I feel like I don't have too many celebrity scents and I wanted to try this one out. And this is by Sofia, um, Sofia Vergara and this is Sofia, so this is the original one. And I know that there is another one called Love and that's more of a gourmand one. I really want to try that one as well. Um, so this is what the bottle looks like, the packaging looks like. And when you look at the actual bottle, it looks like an emerald, except for it's pink. It's actually really nice packaging. It's very kind of luxe and it feels like a really classic fragrance bottle, which is really nice. I feel like everything is nice quality. The whole bottle is actually made from glass. So this bottle for 100 mils was $39 Australian. Actually, I have seen it as well for $29 online. I have to say this is a beautiful fragrance for every day. I was really impressed with this fragrance. I'm going to spray some now. I really like this fragrance. I think it's a really great kind of everyday fragrance that it's very elegant, it's classy, it's very gentle, feminine and soft. It's perfect fragrance for the office, a perfect fragrance for going to lunch with friends or even on a date. It's just a nice fragrance that I really don't think you can go wrong with. So the opening of this fragrance has some berries, there is some blackberries and then there is also plum. There is Colombian rose, there is violet and then and on the base notes you really start to smell the woody notes and then also vanilla. So I think that this one, if you like floral, fruity fragrances and you want some, something that is quite light and not too heavy for during the day and you just want to spray it, it's really great. To me, it's quite fruity and fresh. I feel like the berries in this fragrance are quite sparkling. Like it almost to me smells like as if there is some kind of citrus notes, um, like grapefruit in this fragrance. And I don't think that there is in this fragrance at all. So it's quite luminous and I really like it. And I was very impressed with this fragrance actually. I think it's really great value for money. So if you want to spend a little bit less on a fragrance and you want something that is like everyday approved, I think this is perfect. And I think that a lot of people have been comparing this one as well to Coco Madame as well. I haven't smelled that fragrance in such a long time, so I can't compare that at all. So I think that this has a place in everyone's collection. If you want to try it, I definitely recommend trying this one. It was one of the ones I was quite impressed with. Even if I smell this, I wouldn't think that this is quite an inexpensive fragrance. To me, it smells a lot more expensive and I find that it's quite long lasting as well. It definitely lasts quite a few hours on me. And it's a fragrance that I kind of just go to for every day. It just smells really nice. I think you could definitely wear this one even to the gym or just every day. I think it's a great fragrance. I definitely recommend trying this one, even buying this one because it's really inexpensive. I'll leave the links where I bought mine and then where else can buy this fragrance down below because I know that this fragrance is a little bit harder to um, find in the stores. So definitely recommend it. And also um, let me know down below if you have tried the other fragrance, the uh, Sophia Love fragrance, because I really am thinking about buying that one. And let me know if I should or not down below if you've tried it and if you can recommend it to me. Okay, next up I have another fragrance and this is another celebrity fragrance. This is by Jennifer Lopez and this is Live Lux. And I think this is the second one. So there was the original one. This is the Lux version. And I actually haven't tried any Jennifer Lopez fragrances before, which is, yeah, I don't know why. I just haven't bought one before. And um, this is the first time. And I really like the packaging. I can already tell that it's going to be kind of like a fun, hopefully you can see that. It's going to be a fun kind of vibrant smelling fragrance. And straight away when, you, when I smell this, get a fruity cocktail scent straight away so it's very luminous it's very kind of energetic it's fun um, I definitely see this as a summer and spring fragrance and perfect like if you're going on a holiday and you want to take something that is not too expensive with you but you want to smell like you know holiday I think this would be perfect this fragrance has some really beautiful top notes and they are really kind of like the, I think the perfect kind of summer spring notes. There is honeysuckle, there is melon, there is peach, and then there is also 
kind of like on the dry down there is vanilla there is amber and then there is musk so it just becomes this really beautiful kind of sweet uh, fruity floral fragrance that is kind of like a perfect one for when you want to smell like a fruity cocktail i also smell some freshness in this one Mm. So there's also some freshness in this one. So I don't find this fragrance at all like overly sweet. It is sweet. It is very fruity, but I don't find that this gives me a headache. I don't find that it's too sweet and I don't find that it's cloying at all. I'm really impressed with it and I think it's really nice like everyday scent. Again, great value for money. I think it was um, 29 or 39 Australian dollars and this is the 100 ml bottle. So obviously it's going to last me quite a long time. Yeah, I just really like this one when I kind of want a fresh, fruity, floral scent. So um, another fragrance I got is another celebrity one. And again, I bought another Jennifer Lopez one. And this is, I don't know if you can see there. This is Enduring Glow. And I actually bought a 30 ml because the 100 ml was uh, sold out. This is a really nice fragrance. This is what the bottle looks like. So this one is a little bit more of a floral fruity musk fragrance so this one is a little bit more deeper i think that this one you could wear in the evening if you had both you could wear this one during the day and then this one i would say you would wear this one more in the evening mm. so there's something about this fragrance that i really love I think that it's such a beautiful kind of pleasant scent and I don't think you can go wrong with this one either. So this one has some really beautiful notes as well. So there is dewy pear, there is lychee, there's some beautiful floral notes, there is pink peony, then there is violet leaf. The base is very smooth, there is sheer musk and sandalwood. So I find that the base is quite creamy and I think it's just a really nice one. Like if you're again looking for something that is not too expensive and um, you want for every day, you could wear this one, I think in any occasion, and you're going to smell really good. I find that the lasting power is a few hours on me. The projection on this one is a, quite a good projection. It's like a medium range. So this fragrance, you definitely can smell when someone is near you. It's more of a closer smelling fragrance. It's not going to be too offensive in the office or in places where, where you don't want your fragrance to project too much. This is perfect. And again, a really nice one and really great value for money as well. Okay, so next up is a quite a new fragrance. I was intrigued by this one. I think the, the packaging kind of got me on this one. I really liked it. It's a kind of like a darkish kind of packaging. It, this is by Abercrombie & Finch and this is Authentic Night. This is what the packaging looks like. And there actually is a men's version as well. So if you're a man and you're watching this, there is a men's version. I have never tried an Abercrombie & Finch fragrance before. I actually have tried it in the store and I smell they smell really good um, but i wanted to get this new one this is a new fragrance it was just created in 2020 and it has black currant it has pink pepper it has apple there's tuberose there's jasmine then the dry down is patchouli and cedar and sandalwood so this fragrance is i would say considered to be a warm uh, fruity floral fragrance there are some oriental notes in this one as well. When I first smell this fragrance, I can definitely smell the black currant straight away. And I feel like it's really at the front of the fragrance. So if you like black currants in the fragrances, you might enjoy this one. There is also that pink pepper that you smell as well with the black currant. So there's a little bit of a spiciness to it, but just a touch. And then after that, you can definitely smell that there's some florals in there and there's some more um, kind of woody notes in there as well. I'm going to spray some more on my wrist. So I think that this is a really nice fragrance for the evening. It's a little bit different. And this is actually an Eau de Parfum. So um, it is quite long lasting. And I have worn this one just to test it out for a few days. And I do find it to be quite a good projection. And also I would say medium range projection. So I don't have a fragrance that smells like this. And I don't think that it smells like any of the fragrances that I already own, which is really nice. I really like finding fragrances that are unique and have their kind of own scent DNA. But yeah, so this one is a really nice one if, again, you want something for the evening and a little bit more deeper and a little bit more richer for the evening. This is really great. Again, it's really great value for money. I think it was only 29 or $39 Australian for the 30 mils. I'll leave all the links down below as well where I bought my fragrances so you can find them easily. This is a really kind of nice one, but I think it's a little bit different as well. 
um, and definitely one worth checking out. So next up I have a fragrance by Amaf and this is, I don't know if you can see that, sorry, the lighting is quite bright. I'm using a window natural lighting and it's quite bright so you might not, not be able to see that properly. This is a beautiful fragrance by Amaf for women. This is the 100ml that I bought. I think it only comes in the 100ml, um, maybe it comes in less but I could only get the 100 mil and this is really beautiful packaging actually i really like the bottle it has the amaf sign here and a little um a little diamond there and the bottle is very solid it looks really nice and it looks expensive this fragrance is a floral fruity fragrance and for me this fragrance is quite floral um, i do pick up some of the fruity notes as well but it's quite a fresh fragrance so i do pick up the fruitiness of the fragrance but the fruits in this one are quite fresh grapefruit peach and orange and bergamot so you have those citrus fruits in there that really creates that nice burst of freshness in the fragrance and there's also rose and um, patchouli the base notes is musk vanilla and vetiver and um, vetiver is actually a kind of like a green smelling fragrance note so think of warm on a warm summer's day the, the smell of uncut grass and that's what vetiver smells like it's quite green so this is a very kind of fresh spring summer scent and i like that for summer because i never typically like to wear really sweet fragrances in the summer during the day in the evening i typically wear whatever i like during the day i feel like they can become overly overly sweet usually because a sweet fragrance in the summer becomes even more sweeter because of the heat so something like this is really great i think it's really great value for money i think i paid 49 dollars australian for this but I will leave the link as well in what it costs as well and where I bought it from. So this is extremely long lasting. You only need a few sprays. It's quite strong as well. There's quite a big projection in this one. I think it's a really great value for money. This will last you probably for a couple of years. A little of this fragrance goes a long way because I find that it's quite, um, it's quite strong. And also, if you don't like overly feminine, overly girly fragrances, I think this is a really good one to try. Definitely if you are into these type of fragrances and you don't want to smell overly sweet, then this is a really nice choice. So guys, um, this is quite a long video, but I hope that you enjoyed this haul and if it gave you any ideas in any fragrances that you might want to try. And let me know down below if you have any suggestions. Um, I definitely want to do another one of these because they're fun and um, it's a great way to kind of introduce you to new fragrances. I hope that you enjoyed this kind of longish haul <laughs> and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.